Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use this multimeter to check the charge of your battery and for that I'm going to use that battery. Okay, the one that I have in here, uh, I had it for several years, probably four years or so, maybe even more. Um, this says over here HyperTuff, you know that uh, Walmart brand that you find everywhere. And I think right now it's being made by Everstart. So it's the exact same multimeter, but instead of HyperTuff, it's, it's being sold by Everstart. But it's the same one. Um, there are several things that I like about this multimeter. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. All that I'm going to do is how to use this thing to measure the voltage of your battery. So first of all... Let's plug this positive cable or terminal here. It's color coded and this is black so it goes here into the ground as well. Right now you can see it's on the off position. What we are going to do is we're going to bring it all the way here to the 12 volts. Just like that. Okay, so we are ready to measure the voltage of our battery. One thing I really like about this multimeter is this little uh, stand feature here. So it's very helpful, very helpful whenever you are working uh, because normally you will be using both hands uh, so you can use both terminals to test the voltage of your battery. Okay, so a little background is, this is my backup battery. I have it here at home. This is a, a, one of those marine batteries, is a gel. Uh, it's a 12 volts, of course. And I have it, so in case that we lost power, uh, we lost electricity, uh, we live in Texas and sometimes during very strong winters, we lose power. So I can use this uh, to plug things that are important, like the nebulizer of my son, or even a battery. I have an inverter, so I can use almost anything really, ex except the espresso machine. But more, most of the things uh, will run nicely once you have the inverter. So I already charge it. I use the I use a battery tender that I have over there, and it's supposed to be fully charged. So what we're going to do is remember we already put it in 12 volts. It's not an off position anymore, and we are going to. This is color coded, you can see in here there is the plus sign on the battery. The red is the plus, the positive one. And here we have the negative uh, pole. So you're gonna just touch both ends. And we see that we have 12.91. The reading in the multimeter is telling us that the battery is fully charged. Ooh, how do you know it's fully charged? Well, uh, I did some research and according to what I found, this is the voltage that uh, shows you uh, the charge of your battery. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, like right, a little bit of glare, but you get the idea. So uh, always go to your manufacturers, uh, the, the battery that manufactures, um, the company that manufactures your battery uh, to verify these voltages, but for the one I have, if I have a reading of 12.6 uh, or more, it's supposed to be charged 100%. Uh, always uh, be aware that you are not supposed to use the entire voltage, the entire charge of your battery. So I will be able to use mine up to the 50%, hopefully 60%. I don't want to, uh, to ruin the battery life uh, of this uh, battery that I have here. So. Uh, when once you start using the battery, it's good to continuously or frequently check the charge that you have. So mine, uh, when it hits 12.2, I will stop using it and charge it again or use a second battery. Um, so this is uh, this is how you verify if you have a fully charged battery in your house, your backup battery, like in the case that I have in here. Thank you.